good morning or good afternoon, Virgo. I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day if you uh, celebrate holidays. Um, I am just really just bumming out today. I'm <laughs> probably not going to do much of anything. I've been, you know, working pretty hard lately. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to take the day off and Netflix and chill all day. Enjoy the air conditioning. Um, but I did want to get this video done. It has taken me forever to get my videos done this month. Well, you know, I took about a week and a half off at the beginning of the month. And then, you know, my sales have been really, really busy for my business. So that's taken a lot of my energy. Um, but next month, it shouldn't take me this long to get them all done. Like, I'm almost towards the end of the month now. I feel bad. But I hope everybody's doing well. We're like pretty much completely open back up here in Indiana now. Business as usual. Almost. They're kind of opening us up in uh, levels right now. So I think we're on like level three. Some more stuff opens up next week. But I know everybody's been out and traffic's been heavy again. I'm like, here we are. We're back to business as usual. It's kind of nice to have two months off, a nice break from everything and just kind of chill. I think we needed that pause. Humanity did. Just to kind of pause. Give me um, a Romance Angel card for my Virgo friends, or two. So my, um, my other Angel Oracle deck. Lots of hearts today. My Heart Oracle deck, Lover's Oracle. These are really, really hard to shuffle to, by the way. Energy Oracle. Give me an Energy Oracle card for my Virgo friends. Which is Oracle. You know, which is Oracle card for my Virgo friends. And I will take one more from my fortune telling deck. And it's really whatever cards speak to me. I mean, that speak to me they just really stand out are the ones that I grab so we have the four of cups and basically what I'm getting here is a certain amount of boredom and frustration um, it's like you want to be with this person but it just seems like it's just taking so long and I'm actually even picking up on an energy of you know I'm just gonna give up I'm just gonna be with someone else for a while and you know what, sometimes that's necessary. And the reason why it's necessary is because you're not ready to be together yet. And sometimes we have to take a pit stop on this journey of love <laughs> um, to stop and learn from others. You know, I've really learned to become more fluid, you know, um, in life, you know, it's all about living, loving, learning as you go along. And stop taking things so seriously, that message has came up. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So basically what I'm feeling like is that this other person, you know, maybe you've been seeing somebody else and maybe, you know, you even gave up on this other person that you really, really wanted to be with. You're with someone else. You're having a good time right now. Um, this person is, has come along to help you, um, to help prepare you. Um, but you don't want to be in the energy of this is temporary. You know, this situation I have right now is temporary. 
don't treat them as like a temporary arrangement. Really go all in. Um, be very present and enjoy all of your time with them. You know, because we want to be present. We don't want to worry about the future anyway. So in doing so, you will get the most out of this connection that you have, this new connection that is here to teach you and prepare you. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. This is a divine soulmate that has came in to help you kind of balance things out and teach you maybe, maybe you need help to learn what it's like to really be in a relationship. Maybe you haven't been in very many relationships or maybe um, I'm sensing for someone, maybe you've been a player and you've just been with this person and that person. You've never actually been in any like serious, like I don't want to say serious relationships, but um, romantic relationships. And so this person has came along to teach you. And there's going to come a time where you will get to choose between these two people. Um, but you don't want to worry about that right now. Uh, we have the temperance card. And once again, this is about balancing. It's all about balancing things out. Um, you know, and I, I'm actually picturing, you know, like I said, you and this new person, you know, laying up, you're chilling, you're watching Netflix, you know, you're, you're going out, you know, you're hanging out, you're really having a really good time right now. Um, but the, the spiritual guidance that's coming through is that do not get attached to this person because if you form an attachment, understand that's fear-based and understand it's going to cause you more pain in the long run. You can totally enjoy somebody without becoming attached because attachments are, like I said, codependency and they're fear-based. So make sure you keep the fear out of it. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. So that is another reason that you're in this relationship is because you are going to learn how to express your needs. Um, now understand, you want to always fulfill your own cup. Hold on. Uh, you want to always um, fulfill your own cup. Um, but if you have like certain needs, like let's say um, needs to that you need to communicate, um, these are this this particular relationship. It's a learning relationship, and you are going to learn to do that. Um, and you're going to learn to be more vulnerable. Hold on, I'm trying to postpone this. And you're going to learn to be more vulnerable. I'm trying to do an update. I'm trying to postpone it so it doesn't shut my video down. Um, we have the Nine of Cups. And once again, this is still that energy that I was picking up on. Um, make sure that you are not in this relationship to make somebody else jealous. Um, so many times we get into another relationship and we just want to flash it around on social media. Oh, I'm in a relationship to make somebody jealous. Um, you don't want to instill fear in somebody else to make them scared to lose you. Because once again, that's fear and that's not love. Be very clear of your intentions. I mean, you know, if you're having a good time and you want to take a picture together and, and show it on social media, do so. But let your intention be just that. Don't let your intention be, I want this person to see me. I want them to be jealous. I want them to want to come back to me. Let them eat their heart out. Because that's not love. And we're here to learn what love is. And that's what this relationship is for. The transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and, and transforms all things. Now understand, I'm picking up on two different energies. The one that you're with and the one that you're not with. It's kind of like that, you know, love the one you're with type of thing. Um, but this is a very transform, transformative time for you. Um, and understand, separation is an illusion anyway. Um, you're not actually ever separated from anyone, especially, you know, someone's on a twin flame journey and you're definitely not separated from your twin flame because they are you. You share the same soul. Um, 
and there's a lot more going on with the twin flame connection than what meets the eye and I'm not going to get into it right now um, but if you are on a twin flame journey um, I would recommend um, watching um, New World All-Star Twin Flame here on YouTube or um, Be With Your Twin Flame El Hari because they are the two true Twin Flame teachers that are on YouTube. Um, I know I was so side railed by a lot of teachings that were not true. You know, I mean, you know, I there was always something that resonated with me, kind of set me on the right path. Um, to where I needed to be at. So, I mean, you know, you can't mess anything up. But, you know, if you want to really learn what the journey is about, those two are the, the two that you want to um, look up. All right, we have the two of discs. And this is a juggling act. And like I said, I, you know, you're juggling two people right now, one that you're with and one that you're not. So you want to make sure that you don't confuse the two. You want to make sure, like I said, that you're always, always present and enjoying each and every moment that you have with this person here that is teaching you that is safe to love um, this past life relationship that is a divine soulmate that you have known each other before and you know basically we all have known each other before past timelines um, but this particular person you guys um, set this up prior to actually meeting and when you met this person you would have known that there was something about them that you were really drawn to. Um, we have the King of Wands. Um, this is um, this is your spirituality. This is how you connect with the spiritual world. And your spirit guides are wanting you to know that there is more going on than what meets the eye. Always focus on what's going inside, going on inside of you, because your outward physical reality will ref, will reflect that. So it needs to start with you doing some real soul searching and really getting to know yourself on a soul level. Um, everybody is a teacher. Everybody that you meet is a teacher. Every experience is a teachable moment. So do not, um, don't waste those. Envy. Um, this was, um, I kind of picked up on this a little bit ago when I said something about not trying to make somebody jealous on social media. I mean, maybe, you know, you're not with this person now um, and you've been to their social media page. Maybe they're seeing someone and now you're like, well, now I'm seeing someone. And you just kind of want to flash that in their face. Once again, this is not being loving. Second of all, whatever is happening that has shown up in your physical reality, even with what's going on with this other person that you're not with now, is to teach you, is to prepare you. Um, really examine your feelings right now, how you're feeling. Um, and it's almost always a childhood wound that's kind of the band-aids kind of ripped off of. Um, your spirit guides want you to really look at that right now. Really examine that. Really check in with how you're feeling um, and where this is coming from. So that it can stop showing up in your physical reality. Um, we have the Eight of Cups. This is the Make-A-Wish card. <clears throat> um... Basically, everything that's happening right now, believe it or not, even this other relationship that you're in is taking you one step closer to being with the person that you really want to be with, believe it or not, and, and them as well, because they're being prepared as well. Now, um, there's going to come a time when you're going to look at this and be like, hmm, you know, I don't even know if this is what I really want, because... Your heart's desire cannot come to you until you learn how to live with or without it, okay? Um, it's almost like, like a spoiled child throwing a temper tantrum. Um, if you would give in to that, there would not be anything learned. So make sure that you're not throwing a temper tantrum right now because you can't get your way because understand everything is going just as it's supposed to spell manifestation and that is what I was picking up on like 
I had given, you know, the analogy one time, I, or metaphor, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you know, what if you wake up one morning and your tire's flat? And you're like, this is just really fucked up. My tire's flat. I'm going to be late for work. I'm going to be late to do what it is that I'm trying to do today. And you're like, man, this is bad, right? This is bad. But what if you knew that, you know, if you would have gotten in your car right when you're supposed to and headed to work, you would have been in a fatal accident. And that flat tire was the only thing that kept that from happening. That is the type of energy that I'm sensing with this reading. You are manifesting. Even if you cannot see it. Even if um, it has not shown up in your physical world yet. Um, there are things going on behind the scenes that you don't necessarily need to know about because the magic is in the not knowing. So with this Make-A-Wish card, you are manifesting. And like I said, once you get to the point where you can live with or without the thing that you desire so much, then it can show up. We have the six of disc, the six of pentacles, you know, and I'm sensing that someone's got like several different opportunities. I mean, maybe you got a few different opportunities you're being presented with as far as, you know, a job or um, maybe somebody's thinking about relocating, um, you know, and so you're kind of stuck right now, not knowing what to do. I know I kind of went through that. I was like, man, do I? put down further roots here or do I just stay fluid in case you know so I can travel when the time's right when my heart's desire does show up you know and, and so it's kind of a limbo so this is kind of a limbo card where you're not knowing what to do continue living your life don't put your life on hold and stop waiting because when you're waiting, you're acknowledging that you do not have the thing that you desire. And the universe matches energy. Okay, so if you are feeling like, I'm waiting, it's not here, I don't have it, then you're going to always experience that lack. Because that's the vibration you're sending out. Whereas if you're still going on about your business, living your life, living your best life, that is the magical energy to be in. Privileged lady. Okay, so, and this can be privileged man too. You know, maybe you're not used to being told no. I know, I, you know, I kind of had a hard time with that for a long time. Um, you know, and, and it's a sense of impatience that's coming up too. Um, you know, maybe you've always been a go-getter. You're always able to get exactly what you want. You're just really frustrated, like, why can't I just have this one thing that I want? Because everything cannot be gained by control and by pushing and um, that go-getter energy that, you know, you usually have. Um, you need to stop chasing and let it come to you. And how do you let it come to you? By being in the perfect vibration, being a vibrational match for it. Living your best life, doing things that make you happy, um, you know, hobbies that you like, sports, I'm getting music for some people. Living your best life will put you in the perfect vibrational match that you need to attract your heart's desire you now because imagine you know you're just posting on you know posting on social media hey you know i'm hanging out with my friends i'm doing this that and you're not doing it to get a reaction from this person but because you know that's what we do we share our good times and stuff on social media and they're watching you that's the energy that i'm picking up on um i don't usually Pull these but I'm being divinely guided to pull one of these self-compassion deck cards for a final message give me a card for Virgo and we got two put down this card and do something kind for yourself so go do something for yourself today just for you 
Bring to mind someone with whom you're having a conflict. Notice the tension of heaviness that arise in your heart. Now send yourself compassion for three breaths and notice if there is a shift. So you need to release any type of anger or animosity that you're holding towards this person because it is definitely blocking you um, from where you want to be. And do it for you. Don't do it for anybody else so that you don't feel as heavy. Um, thank you for watching, Virgo.